This is the future. I just want to say a huge thanks to all those new members of our Discord server. We have grown so fast, and it's all thanks to you. We will be having an event this weekend so, I hope to see you there on our server. Link to our Discord server is on the video description if you want to join the grind team. Thank you so much and now, let's get into the video. This is one of those updated build video that I have been asked by some of you guys. In this video, let's try to discuss about Mirage and what I think to be the best build for her. But before anything else, I would like to say that this Mirage build is the best for me as it works for my playstyle. For some, you might like the Elite Sanctuary Mirage that takes advantage of the explosive Legimon Nuke or you prefer the old nuking ways wherein Mirage will cast her fourth ability. But for me, it's more fun to build up more power strength and duration on Mirage, and give full power to her Eclipse and Hall of Mirrors ability. I know you have your preferred build, but I think you can also agree that Mirage with a nuking weapon, getting buff from both Eclipse and Hall of Mirrors, is super busted that you can actually become a mobile nuke in the game. One of the reason why players were so hesitant using Mirage in the past is because of her survivability. Despite of the great weapon buff, she is not considered by many as their favorite frame because it takes a lot of effort in terms of making her survive against high level enemies, but with the addition of shield gating, helm and and other things that will somehow bypass death, Mirage in 2022 can still be lethal with a nuking weapon. So, the build I am using for my Mirage on this video is a combination of high power strength, with lots of duration of narrow minded. This allows your Eclipse to have 666% weapon damage buff, and increases the damage of your first abilities doppelganger. I did add Hall of Malevolence on this build for more damage as this augment allows Mirage's Hall of Mirrors to deal more damage with every enemy killed. At full rank, doppelgangers will deal 50% more damage at 10 stacks and it's applied multiplicatively and not affected by ability strength. Take note that the Hall of Mirrors ability, will give at least 2 projectiles when you fire a hit scan or non-hit scan from primary and secondary weapons. The projectile also does deal additional damage from the ability, and this pairs well with Eclipse that gives out huge damage boost to weapons. Now, I can say that Gloom is not necessary for this build and you are better with something else. Gloom does help you regenerate life per hit, but honestly, in high level plays, it's better to have invisibility or invulnerability. Shields are also helpful to take advantage of the shield gating mechanic or, if you don't want to use any Helminth builds on your Mirage, then you can just simply add the Sly Volfapilla in your loadout, the cat has some evasion bonus and also, Martyr Symbiosis gives you that safety net that you will bypass death every after 30 seconds. But if you have Helminth, and you have enough resources, then you can always count on a Savage Silence Mirage, or a Muzzle Flash Mirage. An all-star mirage would also be great for damage reduction, since it pairs well with this low range build with high duration. There's a lot of ways to survive while using mirage with the use of helminth system but, if you prefer to step away from the helminth system, then sly volfapilla would be enough, and then you can add some damage reduction mods while airborne to help you survive. Hell, adaptation would also work well, especially if you pair it with pillage but, it's really up to you. The best way to survive in Warframe is to see anything die. In terms of weapons, you can use any nuke weapons, but I really prefer the Kuva Brahma since it's like a shoot and kill bow that perfectly pairs with Mirage. The Brahma does get extra 2 projectiles with heavy damage, and it can easily melt steel path enemies. It can also one or two shot acolytes which is really perfect for farming steel essence. Right now, this Mirage build will always sit on the top list for me as it's very effective and I often use this in different mission. The only thing I don't like about Mirage right now is the fact that sometimes, you can't take full advantage of the damage buff from your Eclipse since it relies on light levels. I know the 75% damage reduction is sweet, but I really love if somehow, we can have the choice to either keep the damage buff or switch into damage reduction with Eclipse. Well, I guess that's too overpowered for Mirage. Nuke Brahma Mirage is still top dog in my Mirage builds and if you are new to the game, then you should try this one out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.